Hi folks, I'm Andy and welcome to Blackjack Legacy, your home for tabletop goodness. Today I'm going to be showing you a super fast and easy way to get your Union models for Wild West Exodus painted and onto the tabletop as quick as a flash. This is designed for folks who are new to painting and maybe don't know where to start, or for those of you who just want to get them painted fast and are looking for a shortcut guide to getting them done quick. So sit back and let's get started. First up, I always start by priming the model with black primer. The one I'm using here is matte black from Colorforge, which I can 100% recommend. I always prime black as if you miss any parts on these faster paint schemes, then it looks more like a shadow and it won't be so noticeable, versus using a white primer which really stands out on a finished model. Once you have them primed, the next step is to take a silver paint, I'm using Stormhost Silver by Citadel here, and doing what I call an overbrush over the whole model. I'm using a dry brush and an MDF palette here, but you can also use just a cheap makeup brush and a paper towel. Put a small dab of paint on the end of the brush and wipe off most of the paint onto the mat or a paper towel. You want to leave a small amount of paint to wipe across the model, but not so much as if you're going to paint it on. You can test this on the back of your hand to check you don't have too much paint on the brush. Now in circular motions, drag the brush across the surface of the whole model. Do this across your whole range and you should have some models that look a little bit like this. The reason we do this is to give us brighter areas and shaded areas to apply the next layers on top of, which will help us giving the model depth without having to worry about shading and highlighting. Now we're going to add some colour and we're going to apply Contrast Talisar Blue from Citadel over most of the model. Avoid the areas like the lightning bolt and the face, however you can pretty much paint all of the armour areas as we're going to be going over bits of it later with other colours. Use the contrast paint like a normal paint rather than slapping it on like a wash. You want it to almost stain the model rather than to have it running into the recesses. Once you're done, leave it to dry and carry on painting the rest of the models in the range in a similar method. They should look a little something like this. Next step, we're going to take a gold colour. Here I'm using Balthazar Gold, and we're going to pick out some areas on the armour to give a bit of contrast with the blue. You can pick out anywhere you like on yours, but I'm painting things like the centre of the chest armour, the edges of the shoulder pads, and the coils behind the head as examples. You can see here how I painted mine if you want a reference point. Also, do the same across the rest of the Union models, with things like the batons and the guns for the Tesla bots. I also picked out the lower parts of the helmets to add some visual interest, and with the Iron Eagles, I've painted the trims and the weapons. Our next step is to take the silver paint that we used at the start again and tidy up some of the areas we want to be silver or we want to be lighter in later stages. Here I'm painting the lightning bolts to brighten them up for a later step and also picking out any areas like straps on the armour just to break up the blue. On the other models you can do the same to highlight areas like the Tesla bot's mechanical hips and the details on the iron eagles. Here you can see how mine look at this stage. Now we're going to take Contrast Agaros Dunes, again from Citadel, and we're going to paint this carefully over the gold areas to take away the bright shine from them and make them look a little more aged. Try and be neat with this as it's not too easy to touch up any of the blue areas should you go onto them. Again, do this across the full range of models that you're painting. Once that's dried, we're going to paint the flesh tones on the human models. I take Kislev Flesh by Citadel and carefully apply it to the skin areas. You don't need to be perfect with this, but try to be neat. I try to paint in the main areas like the forehead, ears, cheeks, nose and chin, and leave areas around the eyes as these can give some depth to the features in the next step. Do this across the other models as well, such as Union Bell and Carl Fredrickson. Now I take the Contrast Gulliman Flesh by Citadel and paint it over the skin areas. This gives a nice shade to the skin and this is where it gives some depth to that last stage. Next up I'm going to paint the hair. 
You can paint any color you like, but I'm choosing to make Tesla look a little bit older as the white hair will stand out against the darker armor. I'm using a Vallejo white and just painting on strips in line with the model's hair sculpt, which leaves some of the shadows behind. Do the same for his eyebrows, mustache, and beard. You can also paint in the eyes here, should you wish. Next, I take Wild Rider Red by Citadel and paint it in an area just to give a spot of color, which I think really adds to the overall look. I paint in the center of the circle on the chest armor and pick out a couple of spots on the Iron Eagles too. Next, I paint the lightning bolts, and for this I use Barroth Blue from Citadel. Just thin down the paint and paint it over the silver lightning bolts, trying to ensure you don't go onto the blue armor. Do the same with the lightning on the Tesla Bot shield too. Now in the next stage, we're going to paint the base. I've gone with a simple scheme here with PVA and sand onto the base, which I always do before priming the model as I find the primed paint helps hold the sand in place. I'm going to paint mine as a desert base, but of course you can do yours however you wish. I'm going to paint the whole area with Steel Legion Drab by Citadel. I thin it down with water to help it flow around the sand. Again, you can do this across the whole range of the models that you're painting. Once that's dry, take a dry brush again, and this time using Zandri Dust by Citadel, wipe off the excess onto your paper towel and lightly drag it across the top of the sand on the base. You want to lighten the tips of the sand to give some depth to the base. If you get any on your lightning bolts, we can tidy it up later, so don't worry too much about that. Next, do the same thing again with Wraithbone by Citadel to give a little more brightness to the base. And then once it's dry, follow it up very lightly with the pure white. At this point, you can tidy up the lightning bolts if you've gone over with any of the basing colors onto them. Next, we take the pure white again and very lightly pick out some areas on the lightning bolts just to make them look like it's kind of crackling. Just pick out some bits like I'm doing here. And if you make any mistakes, you can always just paint the blue back on and go again. Also remember to do this across the shields on the Tesla bots too. Lastly, we take a baden black and we paint the rims of the bases to neaten them up onto the finished model. And there we go. One half of the Wild West Exodus 2 player starter set done in no time with a paint scheme that will look great on your tabletop. If you want to see the enlightened side of the box in a similar quick video, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to give the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more Wild West Exodus videos from me. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thanks for watching my video, I hope that you really enjoyed it. And if you did, why not consider clicking on the suggested video below to see more of the work that I've done. If you'd like to support the long-term sustainability of this channel, why not consider checking out my Patreon, where you can pledge in support from as little as $2 a month, and there is lots of different tiers and bonuses, which will give you access to a private Discord server, it will give you free t-shirts, free mugs, a podcast every month, and a number of other things, including getting your name at the end of every video, like these awesome folks who already support me now.